happy, happy hump day. That's right, it's Wednesday, the middle of the week. And not only that, tomorrow is 4th of July. How American. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good. Don't go anywhere. We are talking about wonder today. Oh, you don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. Uh, this past weekend, I uh, heard a hypnotist was coming to town and I almost went just to check it out because it's kind of weird, right? And I'm glad I didn't because I heard that this happened there. Now, evidently, the guy was in front of the crowd and he was swinging his watch and he told them all to raise their left hand and they all raised their left hand, man. And then he said, raise your right hand. And they all raise their right hands. The whole crowd is like this. And then he drops his watch. And says, oh crap. Evidently they still haven't got the smell out of that place. Crazy. <laughs> Happy, happy hump day. The middle of the week, the weekend is in sight. Especially this week, because tomorrow is the 4th of July. So, as far as Americans are concerned, we're going to party from tomorrow to next Monday. Maybe. <laughs> Some are, I'm sure. <laughs> hope everybody's doing good. I hope you've had a good week so far. hope you're looking forward to the holiday. And today... We're going to talk about a movie. But before that, like and subscribe, please, if you wouldn't mind. It lets us know we're doing a good job. We could really use your support. Otherwise, we won't know what's going on. And that makes Squeaky sad. All right, Squeaky? All right. In the description down below are all our links, our merch page, our website, some discount codes for items that we use here all the time, every day, every single day. And we think you'll like them too. So check them out. All right, so today we are talking about the film Wonder. <clears throat> 2017, PG, hour and 53 minutes. Directed by Stephen Chbosky, written by Chbosky, Steve Conrad, and Jack Thorne. This is based on a novel, mind you, a best-selling novel. Uh, starring Owen Wilson, Julia Roberts, Jacob Tremblay. Based on the New York Times bestseller, this movie tells the incredibly inspiring and heartwarming story of August Pullman, Augie, in other words, a boy with facial deficiencies or differences who enters the fifth grade attending a mainstream elementary school for the first time who is used to being homeschooled. And he's different, obviously. He's had like 27 surgeries and his face is all messed up. All right. In full disclosure, I have not read this book. But I had seen this movie when it first came out a long time ago, and I remembered liking it, but I didn't remember much about it. So I rewatched it. And here's my thoughts. <laughs> first off, perfectly fine movie. It's family friendly. It deals with some very uh, mature themes about bullying and uh, people with differences physical disabilities and whatnot, and how you should treat other people, etc., etc. And that's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. That being said, this movie is a collection of feel-good moments that in real life, that's generally not how life works. And as I said, I'm coming at this from the direction that this is a good movie. It's a fun watch. I mean, it's sad, it's happy, and everything in between. And everybody does a great job. Their characters are great. The acting is great. You, you understand the way the movie takes a weird, a weird way to get to the end because it shows you every different character and how they've gotten to where they're at throughout the movie. Because some people, you may assume, well, they're just mean. But then when you look back at what's going on in their life, there's problems that they're having 
causing them to act out or, or act a certain way or whatnot. So it's sectioned by character. And that sounds confusing, but it works completely. And it's supposed to give you this, in my opinion, it's supposed to give you this ideal that basically be kind to everybody because you don't know what they're going through to cause them to be the way they're being. Sounds fair, correct? Problem is, that's not the way it works in real life. Because lots of people, especially because of social media, they are just mean for no reason. Keyboard warriors, etc., etc. And in school especially, bullying is rampant. Probably because they see how it is online, where you can say whatever you want and there's no consequences. So, this m movie and the book may be a tad outdated because of social media. But it's really worth a watch. Just understand, especially if you have young children watching it, that not everything happens, like, not everything has a happy ending. Fair? Some people are just jerks. Some people are just mean. Some people are just bullies. And some people are just different. And it's perfectly fine to be different. Just don't expect to turn the whole world around and make everybody better because some people aren't interested in that. And I think this movie, based on the book, it gives a bit of a misconception about that situation for the young man. Now, there's nothing at all wrong with watching this movie with your younger children and saying, this is how you need to act. This is how you should act. When you see somebody different, you don't treat them badly. You treat them well. If you see somebody with a disability, you don't make fun of. You don't. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. It works great for that. Just explain the reality that not everybody wants to be better. Some people are happy in their mire. If that makes sense. I mean, that's just the facts, my friends. That, however, does not make the movie bad. The movie is perfectly fine, and it is an enjoyable watch. It's a feel-good movie, and that's exactly what it does. It makes you feel good. After it runs you through the ringer with the sadness and the bullying and all, you know, but at the end, it has a happy ending. So you take that as you'd like it. Is it a fairy tale? Maybe. Does it have some good moral situations and ideals that will make people better? Yes. Does that mean they'll take those? Nope. Some people are just happy being mean. There you go. That's the review. It's a positive one. It's a good movie. It's a wonder more people don't talk about it. <laughs> All right, we have to go. Middle of the week. We've got stuff to do. Working hard, as always. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. We'll be back on Friday. More than likely a Kung Fu Friday. But who knows? It's always up in the air here. <laughs> From Michael the Microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this big fat nerd. We'll see you then. <laughs>